Hey guys, welcome back. So it is a little bit early, but I'm going to share with you what I've been melting. I just figured I would knock it out now because we are going to be in rural, rural Indiana and I don't know how the signal is going to be and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I just figured I would upload it now while I have actual Wi-Fi. So <laughs> anyways, let's start with Sassy Girl Aroma. I melted a chunk of toasted marshmallow tea and cakes. This, I just cut a chunk in half and put each piece in my warmer down, each warmer downstairs and it performed well. Um, this is like a basic tea and cake scent. I think this would be a good blender. It was very strong, but um, it might, you know, I like tea and cakes. I just have to be in the mood and I feel like it would be better if um, you, I put in like some strawberry or something. Next, I finished off Cottage Breeze Type, which is some, I don't know who initially made this. Um, like whether it was Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candle, I'm not sure. Um, but this was a very fresh, somewhat musky scent. It's either, it smells kind of musky or manly-ish to me. Like this would be something my husband, it smells like he would use it in the shower. It's just kind of like a manly scent to my nose. So there's that. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I was... Uh, I made myself have a little mini melting challenge. I put, I took my Super Tart collection and pulled out all the clamshells that had two pieces left. And I was just going to like blow through them as quick as I could so that I would have a little bit more room for my growing Super Tart collection. So I was surprised I actually did get through everything. So let's jump right in. I melted Optimus today. This morning I put it in about 530 in the morning. Um... It's raspberry zinger and birthday cake. The birthday cake really sweetens up the raspberry zinger. This performed well for the first few hours, but by around 9, 30, 10, I didn't really smell it anymore, so I went ahead and changed it. I melted Dexter again, which last week, I think it was last week, I melted this. Fresh baked strawberries, sweet pineapple, and tangerine slices. This did not perform well for me last week in the spare bedroom, but I melted it in my room and my bathroom this week and it actually did perform really well and I would buy this again. It was a really nice fresh picked strawberry fruity note. I liked it. The pineapple was definitely strong. The strawberry was strong. The tangerine was not really like, I couldn't really pick it out. So I guess that's good because I'm not a huge orange fan. Soul Suckers finishing off this clam today in my room and bathroom. It's performing really well like Soul Suckers always does for me. It's a very interesting strawberry blend, but I love it and I will continue to buy more. I have like three backup clams that I need to get through, but if she ever offers this in a band bag, I will totally buy it. Planet of the Apes. This is some sort of biolage blend. I want to say it's like blue raspberry and biolage and something else, but I don't have the scent notes. I put this in the spare bedroom and the uh, kids room and it performed really well. A very strong biolage note. I honestly don't feel like I even smell the other notes. It's basically just biolage. Move your foot, you little stinky, stinky foot. Hold this up right here. I have officially ordered a tripod and because the thing I've, I've been using is like not working anymore. So my daughter's helping me hold up the phone. Thank you, baby. Um, moving on. So we have Frosted Tangerine Roses. This is a nice rose jam scent. Um, again, I'm not really picking up any tangerine in this, so there's that, but it was a very nice, sweet rose jam. I would buy that again. Loki's Tricks, Lemon Icebox, Pie Tricks, and Frosted Rose Jam. This is another very strong rose jam scent with a, a slight lemon background. I don't really smell the tricks at all. And it doesn't really smell like a bakery note. It's just like a lemon rose jam scent. This is nice. Mindy Project. This is blue blueberries, mango, and white sangria. I, per, I melted this in the spare bedroom and kids room and it did perform really well, but it uh, just is not for me. The scent notes are just kind of like, I don't know, something about it I don't like. And then I finished off Hermione, which the first time I melted this, it's magically delicious and strawberry filled cannoli and something about it made, it smelled good at first, but then um, it smelled like paint afterwards. Well, I melted it again and it actually was really nice. I didn't really, I don't think I got that paint note at all. You definitely pick up the magically delicious, but that cannoli is in the background. I would get this again. It was nice the second time around. That's all from Super Tarts. I... Tried to just melt through all the clams that I 
picked out or whatever. So let's jump right into the other wax. I don't have a lot, so it'll be fairly quick. Uh, Pink Lavender Noel put this in for nighttime and it was thebomb.com. I love this scent. It's so good. The like the lavender in it is its own lavender. I would say it's more on the herbal side, side but it's a very interesting, sweet blend and I love it. I will continue to buy loads of this, so I love that scent. Mad Hatter, which uh, is Wildberry Moose Tea and Cakes Vanilla Bean Noel. I had this going downstairs. It performed really well. This was nice. The tea and cakes went well with the Wildberry Moose, and I had I have not had that blend before that I'm aware of, so now that I know that I like those two together, I will probably make a custom blend of Wildberry Moose and tea cakes at one point or another. Kimry Ann, I finished off Fairy Dust Kiss and Tell Rainstorm. This was just a nice, fresh scent. I don't know what Fairy Dust is, uh, or Kiss and Tell actually, but it was just like a fresh scent. The Rainstorm was specific because I could smell it in another blend that I have. So that was the top note, but yeah, it was nice. And then I also melted Sweater Weather, Blackberry, and Cotton Candy. I had this going downstairs. It was a very sweet blend. It was nice. Um, I will say, actually, with this one, I usually, now I cut the chunks into six pieces, but at the time that I cut this up, I only cut it into four pieces, and it was, like, way too much wax. So, yeah, I will definitely be cutting them into six pieces still because, actually, I was just too lazy to cut that up the, uh, the two pieces left. I was too lazy. I was just like, let me just finish it off. So I melted Linnea from the scented squirrel, herbal lavender and fresh rain. I didn't smell this a whole lot at first, but, um, when I would come into the room, I definitely smelled it. It was a nice fresh scent. I liked this one. And then I also melted uh, sailor boy, which is blue sugar, salty mariner, uh, barbershop, yeah, and barbershop, sorry. And this smelled basically like a Salty Sea Air blend. I really did like this. Um, it wasn't super strong, but I will probably melt this in the bathroom next time and try to get a better throw from it because I did melt it in the spare bedroom. All right, so that's all for double doubles or whatever from vendors. So now I'm just going to show you what I've melted uh, from other vendors or from single scents, whatever. You get what I'm saying. I, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. You get what I'm trying to say. Sweet Sage Scents, Lazy River Road, I melted this last night, Pink Sugar and Lavender, this was phenomenal, it was so strong, I could, like, I was in my room, like, hanging out, doing, uh, packing for the trip and stuff, and then when I went to bed, laying in the bed, I could still smell it, and normally by that time, I would have gone nose blind, this performed really well, it was super strong, I would totally buy that again, and it goes, it, it just took off on me, sorry, uh, let's see, Fox Willow Farm, Sunshine and Linen. I have this going in the kids' bathroom on day three, and it still smells great. Every time you open the door, it's super noticeable, very strong. This, like I said, is on day three in there. Uh, you know, it's a smaller area, so I do, that's probably why it's performing so well, but I did like this one. It was a very sweet, like, summertime scent, like a, it's actually kind of laundry-ish lemon, but it, but it had some sort of sweet undertone to it. Uh, Salty Sea Air, Green Apple, and Bergamot from Rocket's Candle. This actually is really nice. You definitely pick up that Green Apple and the Bergamot. I don't really pick up the Salty Sea Air on Warm, but it is performing well downstairs. Vintage Chic Scents, Million Dollar Mermaid. I barely can read the scent notes on the back. Uh, Ocean Water Berries, Bergamot, Musk, maybe? That's what I wrote? I don't know. I put this in my spare bedroom in my kids room and I didn't smell it so there's that and then this is going today in the kids room and spare bedroom from the country scent shack, shack let freedom ring strawberry peach and mango it rubbed off but anyways this is performing really nicely it's a very sweet fruity blend and yeah I'm enjoying that one so anyways guys that is what I melted for the week it's not a super long video like normally my melts are but Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on some of the scents that I melted and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.